famous sleuth killed Chopper. Tracy, that was some battle. That sure was, Mr. Tracy. You sure did a fine job in killing that crook. I wonder what happened to the rest of the gang. Well, Sam, there's no proof that there was a gang. All we know is that there was somebody there at the scene of the crime outside of Chopper. Well, uh, Mr. Tracy, who do you think they were? I don't know. We didn't find them. No, when Chopper was killed, the other man just seemed to disappear. Well, Chopper committed a crime and he paid for it. But somewhere along the line, his path crosses the moles. The mole? Who's the mole? Oh, he's a mysterious character about whom we know very little. He owns a restaurant called The Hole in the Wall. Mr. Tracy had dinner there last night. Yes, well, the food was good, so tonight I decided to mix business with pleasure. I want to talk to that mole some more. Tess liked the food, too, so I told her to invite Diet Smith and Miss Frothingham to join us there. So, uh, I'll see you men later. Where are you going now? Well, I have a few errands to attend to for Tess before I meet her at the hole in the wall. See you. Uh, what's, uh, what's troubling Mr. Tracy, Sam? Well, Murphy, when he has an important case, he finds that he can solve it so much easier if he's alone and just uh, keeps on walking. Yeah. It does do a man a bit of good to be alone with his soul once in a while. <laughs> well, me free time's about up, so I guess I'll be getting on back down to me dungeon. What, uh, what do you be doing, Sam? Well, I think I'll just stay here at Tracy's desk and go over the uh, papers here on the mole. Well, all right, I'll see you later, Sam. Mm -hmm. So long. <laughs> 